All right, here we are, week number four into 2021, and we are on a recovery week. <laughs> okay, I'm excited about a recovery week because, uh, yeah, I get to bring down a little bit and soak up all the hard work that you've just put in. Don't underestimate the importance of recovery. This is when you're going to get faster. It's when you're training, you're beating yourself down. Soak up, again, all that hard work, and you will see, hopefully, that jump in performance heading into the next training block. And uh, hopefully, the body feels fantastic and you're all ready to go hit another hard three weeks. If you're not on a recovery week, <laughs> sorry, uh, keep working hard. And uh, this might be your week to dethrone Dustin because I know for a fact he is also on a recovery week. That being said, you never know what his recovery uh, week might look like when he's putting in 17 hours of training on a regular week. So looking at last week, we have uh, again, Dustin coming in number one. Congratulations, <sighs> three weeks in a row, 1649 putting in the most amount of work on the club on Strava at this particular point in time. Coming for you. Uh, 1244, made number two. Happy about that. Rob, just over 12 hours. It's like you're training for a super sprint or something. <laughs> Great base uh, building during the winter here, though, Rob. Awesome uh, work putting in those hours. Uh, same with distance. Uh, Dustin, me, and Rob. And longest activity. Congratulations, Ian, topping the 2 hours and 11 minute mark uh, for the longest. I know it's your ride of the week. Uh, Martin coming at 2.06 and Dustin just over 2 hours. Uh, that being said, I know some of you are breaking up your workouts, uh, different files, etc. It doesn't count for it. Anyway, <laughs> Not, don't want to take that away from me, Ian. <laughs> Looking at uh, last week as well, I pulled up this uh, quick little screen capture and uh, total club activities out of 40 uh, athletes, 197 activities. That is a ton of work. I uh, have hours in here, but I lost. I don't know where it went. But uh, anyway, Kelowna Triathlon Club putting in the work. Congratulations, everybody. This week looks like Linda is off to a huge start. Three hours, five minutes leading the board. Dustin coming in number two on his rest week. <laughs> uh, followed by Martin, Rob, Ava. Well, we can go down the list. It's only Tuesday morning, so uh, this doesn't really mean anything right now. But if you are on this list and you are no longer a member of the Kelowna Tri Club, or at least not a member yet for 2021, get on that. Go over to the website. Uh, make sure you register for 2021, and I will not remove you from this list. So, Linda, that means you if you want to keep your leaderboard. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's time. Hopefully, we're going to be able to resume regular club activities in the near future, but, uh, <sighs> you know. So, flipping over to this week's calendar, looking at what is going on with KTC, and again, if you remember, you have access to this, uh, and it's all included. So, if you want workouts to follow, just something to uh, give you an idea what to do in the pool, on the bike, maybe on the run, uh, well, here's what we're doing this week. Uh, we have uh, three swims always on the schedule. We have some isolateral fin and paddle work. So we're going to go back to a little bit of technique work as we are on recovery uh, week. So that's the one hand, one paddle, feeling about different stroke symmetries, how the different sides are feeling, uh, any imbalances, getting some of that kinesthetic feedback. This is a lot of fun one. I always enjoy this workout. Uh, on Tuesday, which is tonight, and of course you can do these on any day, of course, but uh, we're going to be doing this together. It's going to be going back some one-leg pedaling drills, really focusing on an efficient pedal stroke. You can get away with mashing to an extent, but if you really want to up your cycling game, really improve your economy, your efficiency, and your pedal stroke, it really does matter in terms of the muscle activation, being coordinated so that you have a nice smooth pedal stroke and uh, you're maximizing the power you're putting in. So that will be the focus, doing a lot of one leg pedaling drills, working on that circle. And um, again, the intensity is gonna be a little bit lower tonight because we are on a rest week. We got a little bit of kick work where we're just gonna get the legs going a little bit. Hopefully that'll flush the legs out a little, uh, open up the ankles, improve some of that ankle extension and um, yeah. Again, just a little bit of time kicking in the pool, which I know triathletes love. 
Then we have a little functional threshold test. Hopefully you're recovered, feeling pretty good. If you want to push out a 20 minute field test, see where your functional threshold pace is at. You can hit this workout. If you're not quite feeling it this week, well, you can push her off if you like. Uh, but in terms of setting your zones, Again, this might be a good opportunity after a few recovery days to hit a good quality 20 minuter and uh, hopefully you got the rest of the week to recover from that. We are going to be doing a little bit of a group ride on Thursday night. We're still online hitting stage number five. It's the after party, a little shorter uh, route, either the short route or the moderate route. I'm still in between. We'll have to see. Uh, Friday we got a day off, Sunday we're going a little bit of endurance with some 400s, with some toys, some fins, some paddles, just to switch it up, make it fun. We got a little aerobic endurance on Saturday, that's same old, same old, just putting in some of the miles at a nice easy intensity, and the same on the bike on the Sunday, you actually have an option, you can go hard, uh, with actually racing the Tour de Zwift stage. You can go easy just riding a group ride on Tour de Zwift or you can just just jump on and you know enjoy pedaling for a few hours. Anyway, that is rest week for KTC. Again, depending on the level that you're at, you may want to do a little more. You may want to do a little less. That's always up to you. Listen to your body. Number one goal by the end of this week is to feel fresh, refreshed, and ready to hit the next training block because we're going to take it up a notch. Really hitting some anaerobic intensities. Uh, we have some more testing coming up. I'm just looking down the calendar here. Uh, what else do we have? We have some fart lick work. <laughs> fart lick work. Um, muscular endurance in the pool. We have some VO2 max anaerobic efforts running. So anyway, it's going to be a really good uh, training block coming up. Hopefully you can jump on, join us for that. And uh, happy rest week or training week. Man, I would suck to be on a training week. <laughs>